Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install Cyanogen Mod 9 on your Nexus S 4G CM9. It is, I know you guys probably are familiar with CM7, Cyanogen Mod 7, but this is based off of Ice Cream Sandwich CM9. So it's an updated Cyanogen Mod ROM, so very excited to install this. I haven't installed it yet. But you will need to be rooted in a Clockwork Mod to install this ROM, so make sure that you do have Clockwork Mod. It is an early build, so you might run into a couple problems, but pretty much everything should be working. Anyways, click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this website. Thanks to Sims22 for posting this for us. Thanks to him. Shout out to him. As you can see, Nexus says 4G CM9 Kang. So it is a, a Kang, but it should have a lot of stuff working, pretty much everything. You're going to need to download three files. I'm going to recommend downloading three. The top two right here, so click on this one. The top one you click on, it'll take you to this website. The latest build was yesterday, December 15th. Download that one right there. Um, and then once you have that ROM downloaded, then download the GX zip. Shouldn't take long to download that one. The second download link is right there. And then the th scroll down and then the third download link I'm going to recommend is Trinity Kernel, the S-E-U-V kernel, right there. The top one. So click on that. You're going to need to download those three files right here. They all look like that. So the G-Apps, the, the ROM, and the kernel. So those three, put all three of those on your internal storage on your Nexus S 4G. So transfer those over, connect your phone, and once it's there, you're ready to go. Go ahead and go back to your Nexus S 4G and power it on off, because you're going to need to get into your custom recovery, whether it be Clockwork Mod or Twerp Recovery. In my case, I'm on Twerp Recovery. To get into it, press the volume up and power button at the same time. Press and hold until it gets to the bootloader, then press the volume down button twice. Go to Recovery and press the power button should reboot me into, I believe I have Twerp Recovery, so it should reboot me into that. It doesn't matter if you have Clockwork Mod, you can install it regardless. So as you can see, Team Win Recovery right here. Let's go ahead and check it out. So here's what you need to do. I'm going to recommend making an Android backup before you install this, so go to your Backups and Restore options um, or an Android menu if you're on Twerp Recovery. So just make an Android backup. I already have one, so I'm ready to go. Then I'm going to recommend going to uh, wipe menu. So go to wipe and go to wipe everything. So everything's going to be wiped. Make sure you do any backups that you need to. So wipe everything and yes, delete all user data. So it's going to go ahead and delete everything. So just in case you need to know everything is going to be wiped. Once that's done, I'm going to recommend you go to wipe Dalvik cache and wipe Dalvik cache. Shouldn't take long. And then go to wipe cache. Select that. And then that's wiped. That's it. So wipe your data, cache, Dalvik cache. Once that's done, go back to main menu. Go to install zip. And then hit choose zips to flash. So select that. And then the first zip I want you guys to flash is the update CM9 NS4G Kang, the, the ROM itself. So select that. That will be added right there. Um, if you do have Clockwork Mod Recovery, then just install it. I'm actually going to, okay, here's what I'll do. So go to install zip. I'm going to uncheck reboot after successful flash. So that's not checked. And then I'm just going to hit flash zips now. So it's going to flash the ROM for me. If you do want to on Twerp Recovery, you can keep choosing zips and choose the next two zips that I um, recommend in that order, but I'm going to flash zips now. So it's going to go ahead and install the ROM itself for me. It won't reboot when I'm done since I unchecked reboot now. So I'm going to go ahead and let that install and I will be back once it's done. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. Now what I'm going to recommend you do is go to back to choose zips to flash or install zip from SD card and then find uh, that kernel. So S-E-U-V-I-C-S-N-E dot zip and select that to flash and just hit flash zips now. So it's going to install the kernel for you. And then once that's done, go back to choose zips to flash and then type and then uh, flash G apps ICS right there. The G apps. So the Google apps like market, Gmail, all that good stuff. And then just hit flash zips now. I'm going to check reboot after successful flash since you can reboot when it's done. So flash zips now. 
So now it's gonna go ahead and install the G apps for me. Shouldn't take long at all. And once it's done, it should reboot my phone automatically. If you are in, are in Clockwork Mod, just go ahead and reboot it manually. Just press Reboot System now once the G apps are done installing. So as you can see, it's rebooting. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it boot up. And once it does, I'll be running CM9, Synergymon 9 on my Samsung. I mean, so not Samsung, well, I guess Samsung Nexus S 4G. So on my Nexus S 4G, I'm going to be doing a separate review video of this ROM. So definitely, you're not gonna have a boot animation, so don't worry about that. But I'm going to be doing a separate review video uh, so be sure to check that out. Link will be in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.